In this tutorial, I will show you how to create um, EXE installer for Java Apex application. Uh, you need the uh, Inno setup at least 5.5 or higher. Latest version is 6.0.5. Download it. Here you need to remember installation directory. So make sure you copy. Next. 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 Install. You don't have to launch it now. Next we are going to add installation directory to system pass. Properties. Advanced system settings, environment variable, system variable and pass, double click, new, paste it, ok, that's all for Inno you know, setup. For um, JavaFX uh, application, let me just create a simple application here. Add package name. Uh, let me add one title called JavaFX EXE installer for JavaFX application. Open FXML. I'm going to just change the value for button. Just say uh, OK. FX ID uh, event handler, I will just keep it as it is. Save it. Make controller. Let me remove um, line number 29. Just print the uh, actual value on label. Here is the one clean and build. So this way we can have um, ejectable jar file so that you can launch it. So now we are going to look at um, properties. Library is OK. We go to build package. Here, make sure you turn on uh, build jar after compiling. Copy dependency library and enabling a native package. That's important. So make sure you have a style law. Here I keep it as it is, but you can add more information, it's up to you.
by default it does not um, create the install loss. So we just go to build dot XML. Um, you can have a look. In uh, XML, here if you look at line number 39 to 44, it doesn't have much detail, so uh, let me just give you uh, what I have at this point. Quite a simple version, okay? So let me copy, paste it. I may keep it in the, this video's description or down below. So this is what we need for about eight or nine lines. So target name is uh, basically as it is the post uh, Java FX jar we created. Purpose uh, is good to have one. Uh, we know what's going on. Native bundles exe base tier here reporting to uh, your Java FX application project directory under the pins and the distribution directory. Application title, that means uh, name of your applications. Vendor, you already saw it on property. Main class and uh, include jar. That's the, what we are looking for as a part of installer. That's all you need. We go back, clean and build. It will take a few minutes. What it does is uh, it's going to collect all those uh, long time files necessary to have for your FX application uh, project number 90. So it's going to be relatively big. Okay, build successfully. So if we go back here, it says that uh, we have uh, exe installer on the C drive, users and then your username and documents. That means project, Java FX application 19, distribution, and then bundles directory. That's the place you are looking for. I copy, paste it. So here you go. Double click and you install it. It's going to install under your, your username called app data and local. Try to remember, um, it's usually hidden. So, You launch it, that's okay. You can run it again, this will add it to your recent applications. So this is the way you are looking for, it's usually hidden directory. Copy. Look for Java application 90. So if we go down there, there will be a Java application 90. That's the location. You can launch your app. Okay. If you go down there, there is actually only installer as well. Let me uninstall. Okay. 
Okay. So by default, uh, exe installer uh, is going to install per user. You can change to system wide installations. Normally, I don't recommend it, but again, uh, depends what you need. You can say FX. Preference installer true. By default, installer is equal to false for exe installer. I will cover um, MSI installer. By default, that is system level installation. So normally um, we don't do this, but uh, just let you know it is possible to have um, installer that can be. Um, can be installed later on on the system wide level. We do the same clean and build. So if you create a system wide system level installer, it's going to install your Java apps on the program files instead of your local files on the username. Let's see. Build successfully, let's go up. So same locations on the NetBeans directory and the project name and distribution build. Copy. Paste it. So this time this is going to install um, system level. It means it's going to install on the C drive program files directory. Let's see. Look at the directory carefully. Okay, after installation, we will launch the application the same. It's already added to recently. Okay, we can do that. So let's go to C drive. Here you look at um, Java FX application 90. This, but this one here, um, we have applications. comes with the uninstaller. So you can uninstall. Yes. It's gone already. I forgot to mention the system level installation you have to have a administrative account. We have a chart file and then exe file here. This is where your chart file located. And then your installer as well. So try to remember that's the location we have. 
So if you look at here outside on uh, Windows Explorer, distribution directory, that's the same. Let's compare with uh, NetBeans. Okay. That's the installer. So if you clean, uh, it will disappear. Okay, that's the what we what we do at the beginning, clean and build. We can actually change the native builds as a all, and then we can use package as a exe installer. You may end up with the exactly same thing. You will create the child file and then exe file here as well. Normally, I prefer to do it you know, with uh, clean and build. Um, but again, this is just additional tools you can use it. Okay, build complete successfully. Again, Java files works as it is. EXE installer. Okay. This time we go to uh, System, Settings, Apps. It will appear, so you can uninstall it if you don't need it. Here you go. Uninstall, uninstall. Yes, pretty much that's all. That's how you create the um, EXE installer for JavaFX applications. That's all, thank you.